beautiful people, my name's Heather Sotokovas, this is my heart stage where I talk about my reading, writing and life journeys. Today is my November TBR and we're back with the spinner wheel as I keep seeing it. I think it's great fun. I've chucked a bunch of prompts on it. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to do five spins this month, uh, just take it a bit easy on myself. I as I am also doing a massive writing fast draft uh, experiment, so I'll let that up here. Um, so let's dive on into the spins, see what we end up with, and then I'll read, I'll tell you what the books are. Okay, first spin. Number one was a non-fiction. I think I will read... Oh, that's a tough one. No, there's a non-fiction. Creatures That Cannot Rest in Peace. It's the Encyclopedia of the Undead by Dr. Bob Curran, author of Vampires, and it's this illustrated as I think this will be very useful for some spooky ooky stuff I want to write and just see how things work and see if I can get some creativity there is a whole section in vampires that will help with uh, Bound by Crimson Ties series second spin Mabel a strong female character I was lucky enough to go to the Perth Fiction Festival of Fiction last week and they had it out early, so I have sneakily started 16 pages in. But I will be completing Queen's Faith by Madeleine Tufu, which is the third and final book in the Assassin Faith trilogy. We're following Talium. Uh, she invent, um, ventures on some stuff. So the tagline is, There is no line she will not cross, no bargain she will not strike, to drag his soul to the Underrealm. Just a stunning, beautiful cover. And it is then the first completed uh, series out of New Dawn, which is speculative fiction small publisher here in Western Australia. So I'm super excited. A random number. Next, we had random number generator. I'm going to count the books that are on my lovely bookshelves behind me and choose. Hey Siri, choose a number between... 1 and 150. It's 64. So the 64th book. Okay. So I the 64th book on the uh, thing shelves, sorry, is The Goddess of Blood and Bone, which is book one in the Immortal uh, Deities duology by another wonderful Western Australian writer, Nettie Kate Mason. It is a new adult dark fantasy uh, series about uh, the goddess of the underworld in her series um, in her world uh, it is a follow-up to the crowning trilogy I have on my shelves so really looking forward to diving into this and we'll see how we go so that makes that book spin four A white cover the fourth book is a white cover and I will be jumping in to the dream thieves by Maggie Sivada which is book two in the Raven cycle uh, which is a mainly white cover it will also tick off the dreams prompt for the our fancy bingo hard mode as I am trying to do the hard mode uh, of dreams but they can't be pathetic dreams they have to be like real life dreams and final and fifth spin enemies to lovers I'll try and get to the crimson moth by Kristen Sertrilli where we are following a witch Hunter and a Witch. If I don't get to this one, I will try Serpent and Dove, 
which is the same concept as this one. So they are five books that I am going to try and prioritize getting to uh, in the month of November. I would love to know what is on your list of things to read in November and what your 64th book on your... Nope, actually, let's go with what is the white, a book with a white cover on your shelves? I'd love to know down in the comments. Uh, and without further ado, let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world. Thank you and bye-bye for now.